Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here back, and today we're going to talk about private matches. Now, they finally got added to Destiny. You know, it took about two years, and they finally decided to add in these private matches so we can have some fun with our friends. And they also made competitive gameplay a lot easier. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a few things that I would like to see come to private matches. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty glad that they're here, and it just... There is a lot more that you can do now in Destiny just with these private matches alone, but there are still a few things missing in these private matches, and I think that it would make the experience just a bit better if some of these features were added. So let's get right on into my top 10 things that I think private matches could use, or really would just make them a little bit better in the long run. So, thing number one that I would like to see come to private matches is the ability to turn on and off the heavy ammo. Now, you can always tell your teammates not to pick up the ammo, but if you're in a competitive gameplay and you don't really know the teammates you're playing against because you match with game battles. You don't really want them picking up heavy ammo on accident. Now you can always wave it off, but that doesn't always work and some team teams might not know what that means. So the ability to turn on and off the heavy ammo will make things a lot easier and I do hope that's some feature that they do add to the private matches sometime pretty soon. Now the second thing I would like to see come to private matches is the ability to turn off the revives. Like if you're playing elimination, I think it would be pretty cool if you only were given one life and your teammates weren't able to revive you at all. I think that's a feature that they do also need to add to the private matches, the ability to turn on and off the revive system. So that way, if you're playing skirmish or if you're even playing elimination, you just only have that one life. I think it'd be really cool to experience elimination with only one life, especially on some of these bigger maps. And if you're playing 6v6 elimination, then that could actually be pretty cool as well because you would have six people just like in Search and Destroy and all of them would only be given that one life. Now that does bring me into the third and fourth things that I would like to see come to these private matches, which is spectating. Spectating is a big deal, especially in the private matches. If you're playing a competitive game type, if you want someone to watch, or if you're just playing a normal type game mode, but you don't really want to play and you want to just have your friends come in and have some fun, being able to not spawn in and just spectate everyone would be pretty cool. And that ties us into the fourth thing as well, which is free mode spectating. Now what free mode spectating would be is if you could just go into free mode and you would basically just be a camera on the map and you could go and free roam around the entire area of the map, go up and down in the air, go in down the hallways and stuff like that. I think it would make things a lot easier if, for people that make content, as well as people that do play competitively. You could have someone spectate someone really closely, be right behind them or something like that. And you've seen it happen a lot of times in Call of Duty where they have that free mode spectating and you can just kind of free roam around the map as a camera. I think that'd be really sick and I really do hope they add those four features into the private matches as well. Now for the fifth thing that I would really like to see come to private matches is the ability to assign your team weapons. So let's just say you're in a private match and things don't really matter because stats don't really count. You can still earn rewards and stuff, but your stats don't count at all. So imagine if you could assign weapons to you and your teammates. So let's say you wanted to have a sniper duel but some of your friends don't have the No Land Beyond. Well, this feature would allow you to give everybody the No Land Beyond just for the time being while they're in the lobby. So you could actually go into a lobby and say, okay, Eyes Lunas only, or you could just use No Land Beyond only, or Red Death only. You could actually assign what the weapon would be for the game mode. That would make 1v1s really easy, and it would make things a lot more fun for people that do want to do those sniper battles. You wouldn't have to worry about anyone cheating or really just the fact that no one actually has all of the weapons in the game, so there's always that one person that might not have a couple of the weapons that you'd want to use. So that would be another great feature that they could add to private matches to just make things more enjoyable. Now that kind of ties in with the next thing I would like to see comes to private matches, which is the ability to give you and your teammates unlimited ammo. So if you did want to do that sniper duel, and let's say you signed everybody the 1,000 yard stair, well, they would still have run into that issue where they don't actually have enough ammo to do 1v1. You'd still have to be fighting over that special box, and if, I don't know, I think it would be a lot more fun if you could actually give somebody unlimited ammo and special weapons, or really just unlimited ammo and anything. Imagine if everybody just had Galahorns, and you just wanted to have some fun and just have a Galahorn battle, but you don't have enough ammo, and you'd be constantly waiting for that heavy ammo to spawn in. Well, that doesn't really sound like a lot of fun, which is why they should add this feature in. The ability to just give someone unlimited ammo for the private match would make things a lot more fun in the long run. This next feature does sound kind of crazy, and it would take a lot of work from Bungie, and who knows if it's even possible for them to put this into the game. But I think it would be really amazing if they would add the ability to spawn in bots into the game. So you and your friends are really just you, or by yourself, let's say. You're by yourself, but you want to still play a game of elimination. You don't really want to deal with all the hassle of the Crucible and the actual matchmaking system, but you really want to get better at the game. So let's say you wanted to spawn in bots on the other team, and you could change the difficulty of these bots from normal, easy, or hard bots, and that way you could actually practice, say, sniping, or you could just practice using a couple of the weapons you wanted to use in the past, but you didn't want to get into the Crucible because it's just a, a little bit too random. So you hop into Private Match and you go ahead and just put on those bots. That would make things really sick. Imagine playing against really hard bots, and that would be a really easy way to, for people to get better at the game. And I know a lot of other games that have 
uh, private matches do have that feature. But who knows, Bungie may not even be able to add that feature in, but if they could, that would definitely be another epic feature for them to add in these private matches. Now this next feature in the private matches isn't really a feature, but it's just more of a personal preference. I think it would be really sick if they would make the darker maps just a little bit darker. You actually have the ability in the custom games to change the time of day on most of the maps. You can play at dawn, midday, or at night. I think they should add another feature in called like midnight, or really just they could just have this be the night feature as well. They'd be really sick if you got into a night map, but everything was really, really dark. I think it would be really sick uh, in combination with some of these other features I was talking about before. Imagine playing on a map at midnight, so it's pitch black out, you can barely even see where you're walking, and the, it would be really cool to play an elimination game with no respawns on a night map, just like that. If you were playing during the midnight time, all you'd be able to really see is the sniper's red light, and I just think it would be sick if all the maps got really, really dark and it, things got really tactical. It'd be really sick to play an elimination game knowing that I only had one life on a really big map, 6v6 elimination, and everything is pitch black so it's hard to really even see where you're going. That would be a really cool type of game mode to add into private matches, and I don't think that, that feature would be all that hard for them to add. They would just have to make the maps a little bit darker. This would be really sick in Rift as well because the only thing you'd really see is that Rift glowing up that would light up the whole map. And then when someone actually scored, there could be like some crazy explosion that went across the whole map just lighting everything up. And the person that was carrying the rift would just be glowing, so it would be a really cool feature to add into private matches. And I really do hope that they add that in sometime in the future. Now for this next feature I want them to add in is kind of a big feature as well, and who knows, again, they may not even be able to add this in. But the ability to play party type games would really be sick. So what I mean by party type games, imagine if they actually had it set up so that you could just immediately play a hide and go seek game, and all the custom rules were already set up for that, so it would be really easy. They could also make another game mode where you can have any of the amount of exotics you want. So you could have three exotics equipped, all exotic armor, and you can just have a lot of fun because none of the stats really matter in the long run anyway. So why not just add in the feature to equip an unlimited amount of exotics too? That'd be another crazy party game mode they could add. They could also add another game mode called like throwing knives only or grenades only, which kind of ties in with some of the other features I was mentioning before. But really just the ability to customize how the game plays and reacts is another crazy feature that I think that they should add into the custom games just to add a little bit more fun for the people that want to play with their friends. Now for this final feature, again, this is a giant feature that they would take months and months of development for them to add in, but something tells me they kind of have this plan in, in the works already, especially with some of Bungie's previous games. But imagine if you could go into private match with the spectating on, like I said before, but you can actually build your own stuff. Just like in Halo, they had this thing called the Forge. For anyone that back in the day that made, maybe played Halo 3, there was this game mode called Forge. So you could load up a map and you you would have all the same, like, imagine you're playing this game mode right now, you see some of the ways the barriers are, the way that this map looks, you would have all these same barriers, but you would be in a custom game, so all these blocks, all these, like, pieces of cover, everything like that, you would have complete control over, you could spawn in as many as you wanted, and that was where I would have the most fun out of any time that I played that Halo game, was when I hopped into Forge matches, because people would get super creative, they'd make Sparrow tracks, they'd make crazy Warthog tracks, they'd make, like, these just insane maps out of the maps that Bungie has already put in for us, but they would just put their own community, they would put a, their own twist to it, and it would make things a lot crazier in the long run. And that actually tied in with a lot of the party game modes as well. There was this game mode where I remember back in the day, people would have to, there would be one sniper across the map, and then there would be the entire other team, say like 10 people, all trying to run across this little maze while the sniper had his choice of any sniper he wanted with unlimited ammo in it. And he would just be able to snipe everybody that was running across. It was one of the most fun game modes I had ever played, and it wasn't even part of the actual game. It was just a community game mode that people had created on their own. It was a really sick game mode where you were just in a maze, and was 10 people in a maze trying to run to this objective while trying to also not get sniped. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I'm sure someone out there does. It was just one of the most fun game modes in Halo back in the day. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these top 10 things that I think should come to the private matches. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite feature that I mentioned here today would be, or really any feature that you can think of as well. Just drop those in the comments. I want to see what you guys would like to see come to private matches as well. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe for future Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.